I'm here to show you how to hook up an LED harness to your Arcade 1UP control board or your Arcade joystick board and get some LED lights flashing away. Let's go. What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another Arcade 1UP build video. Um, so yeah, so I finally got the LED harness. Only took a week uh, after the uh, the first order was messed up. These were not included in the first order, which I mentioned in my previous videos. And I got all the uh, the nuts for the buttons on my control board. So I did put all um, 15 uh, nuts on. I'm going to do the last nut for you guys. So uh, that being said, guys, so you can see this is the control board here. This is the back of it. You know, in front, the amazing Mortal Kombat six button configuration. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to switch to the big camera so you can see a little bit more of this. Uh, but just know that I'm very excited to get the LED lights going. I've been missing them for a long time here, more than a week without these lights. So I'm very excited to get the buttons nailed down on the boards and not wiggling and jiggling away without the nuts here. And now that these are secure, now I get the lights going. It's going to look so cool. Man, this has been an incredible journey. Check out my last uh, few videos on, on my, my arcade build, man. This is so fun. And I'm very, very fortunate and happy to have an arcade in the Raft Cave. It is just so cool to look at. All right, guys, let's uh, flip the camera and let's let's begin. Okay, guys, so here is the back of the control board. Uh, these are the USB modules here. These two little things here. These give you the uh, the USB buttons. Come on. These are the USB cords here that go into your PC or your Raspberry Pi or Pandora box or whatnot. So that'll communicate the buttons. Um, what I did is I put a little um, a zip tie to, to represent number one arcade stick. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, um, you know, you got the joysticks here, right? And you want to nail those to the back. And then you got the, the joystick wire going into the control board here. And uh, these control boards, you know, they have some power LED power here, but I'm not using these. Cause I have another way to get power. Um, then you got the USB connected here, right? Going to your device. Now on the back of the buttons now, now since this is an LED, you're going to have four terminals. If this was not an LED button, you would just have the regular two. So you're going to have the, uh, the standard two pins here for the, uh, the control of the button when you push it. And then the other two is going to be your positive, see the plus, positive and negative. Now these are going to go to the LED, LED lights, right? Positive, negative, right? Black and black and red. So when you're hooking this up, the most important thing to do is every wire you do, now it doesn't matter, you know, black or red for the, uh, just the buttons. That's just for the LED. It doesn't matter which way you go here. But when you plug the, the other end in the control board in this spot, the other side, you got to do the same thing. See that? See that? This button to the first terminal, the other player to the first terminal. You just got to do that for every single one. Okay? Do that for every single one. That's it. Just make sure you do that. And then for these, same thing. For the top button, like the coin and player one, do that at the very end. See that? It's exactly the same, right? So that's number one, okay? So for me, I'm just going to plug this button in here, show you guys. Put it on the other side, like that. And make sure the positive and negative is towards the bottom there. Put the nut on. Secure it to the control board. Get as tight as you want, you know. There we go. Okay. 
that's secure, not going anywhere. And then I'm going to do the two buttons here. Red there and black there. All right, guys. So that button is ready. So all the buttons are good to go. The joysticks are good to go. I got the octagonal gate and the four pounds spring already inside. I already did a, a video about that. So now we have this LED harness, guys. All right, let's go. So now the one I have here is a nice um, power connector here that goes right into the back of the of another harness I got inside there, which I'll show you. But there's other 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 power terminal terminals on on these cables that can either go into your computer or it can go into another power supply. I just kind of like how it's connected to that. So that's cool. So this is the power cord. We'll leave that over there. Now these are basically daisy chain guys. See how they're just, they're just connected together like this. So you just basically daisy chain every single button all the way to the end. So I'm going to start on this side and I'm just going to connect the positive to the positive and a negative to the negative guys. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so now it's secure on there. Uh, these are, what I do is you pull the sleeve back and then just make sure that the connector fits securely on the pin. Don't just push it on there and think you're good. You want to pull it up a little bit and make sure it's got some resistance. That's very important. So this will take a bit. I'm going to pause it here, but basically it, I'm going to go to the next button and then the next button, then the next button, the next button, the next button, the next button, and just go down the way. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So I got 98% of all the buttons done for the LEDs. Save the last one for you guys. So I just kind of zip tied the main power line. And I started with the closest button to where I want the wire to go, which is this guy. And then I just daisy changed it. Daisy chained it from here to 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 here. And then down here to here to here. And here I have, you know, this is all that's left. So I can hit one button and I have two extra buttons I can install later on if I wanted to. Not sure where, but you know, anyway. So yeah, basically all you do, you know, you got the positive. You guys can see that. Positive pin here, negative pin here. So I just pull the uh, protective sleeve down a little bit. Get that positive terminal pin on there. Wiggle it down a little bit so it goes through. Now, if it doesn't push all the way in, it always goes halfway and that's it. I just got a uh, small little screwdriver and just push it in the terminals just a little bit to open it up a little bit and then try again. All right, there you go. Now it pushes on real secure and then push the rubber, rubber contact or sleeve down. Now that wire is secure. It's not going to pull out from, you know, hitting the button real hard. It's not going to pull the wire out. So make sure it's secure and not loose before you uh, move on. And uh, yeah, final uh, negative wire here. We'll try it here see if it's okay. Nope. So I'm going to get that screwdriver, push it in a little bit, wiggle it loose a little bit. Try again. Oh, well, that's right. No, that's too loose. Right, too loose. So, needle nose pliers, pinch it a little bit. Pinch it a little bit, try again. There we go. There, now it's tight there. Put the sleeve back down. Awesome. So I have a few extra. I'm just gonna Zip tie these together so they don't uh, get in the way of anything. And that's it. I can just hang right there, no problem. And uh, here you go, guys. Now, if you want to get fancy and clean all these up, be my guest. 
but these wires are not going anywhere. I'm not going to catch on anything. They're not going to stick out and get crimped or smushed or anything. So we're good. Let's kind of keep it all inside here. Make sure the wires won't get into the joysticks ever. So we're good there. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, here it is. All done. Now I'm going to plug it into the uh, arcade. Let's get it. All right, guys. So I have it plugged in. And I am beyond thrilled at the result. Let me flip the camera and show you. Here is the Raft Cave Arcade. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, guys. We got the LED on the bottom. We got the LED coin we got some led light shining down color yet to be determined i'm picking blue for now holy lit up buttons this is so cool oh this is so cool guys gorgeous absolutely gorgeous we got the lit up marquee it is beautiful in real the camera is overexposing it it is absolutely perfect seamless and clean there's no bright spot here or bright spot there it is perfectly uniform in real life it's beautiful guys i did not mention the speakers system i installed uh, these are insignia bookshelf speakers they are powered bookshelf speakers with the remote uh, the unique thing about this speaker of course it has the controls of bass and treble and power on the back, uh, you can do RCA input here, 3.5 uh, input, which I'm using, and it has a subwoofer output, a dedicated subwoofer output, and then this is for the left speaker. With that subwoofer output, I have one Polk 10 inch, make that two Polk 10 inch subs connected to my arcade unit and the sound is spectacular in stereo wonderful guys this is what i'm uh currently with there are three more things to be done the first thing actually four things the first thing i'm waiting for uh caps to plug the screw holes those will be black waiting for those caps to be installed. I am waiting for a vinyl red tape to apply to the top of my visor. So it'll be red all the way across to match the red here. I am waiting for the custom dust cover, Mortal Kombat theme dust covers for the joysticks and the grand Upgrade of them all, guys, is going to be a 20-inch monitor to go here instead of the 17-inch. It's going to be a 20-inch Dell 2007 FB, the uh, most popular 20-inch monitor to fill this entire area of gloriness. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, I'm not done yet. There are two LED strips to be installed one red LED strip on the top going down and one blue LED strip to be attached and go down. And then I will secure the screws into the cabinet so it will be extra secure. And of course, then I will nail down the uh, final screws for the control panel. Then we're good. Now, guys, comment below. Let me know um, if you're interested in seeing some gameplay of this arcade. And I'll show you uh, what games I have. I'll most likely be doing that when I get the monitor installed. I'll go through all that with you. But uh, for right now, guys, I am so thrilled to have an arcade in the Raft Cave. Absolutely awesome. There it is, guys. The LED lights are good. Those buttons are lit up like crazy. And this looks so good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next Arcade 1-Up.
mod for the Raft Cave. Awesome. And don't forget the comfortable pad to stand on too. With the red and blue to match the red and blue of the buttons. I love it. All right, guys. Have a good one. Oh, by the way, uh, I did return one stool. I'm keeping one stool. Because having two of those stools side by side, um, there's no room for my legs. And it's just not not comfortable. So I'm good with standing. I've been, I've, I was raised to stand while playing in the arcade. I was not raised to sit down in an arcade. So I'm fine with standing. The guest can have the stool and you can, you know, rest your, rest your tush right there. All right, guys. Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade in the Raft Cave. I love it, guys. I'll see you next time.